Hey everybody, Amy here with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. We are at VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital with Gigi. One of the six dogs that we rescued yesterday from the hoarding breeding situation. A pregnant one. Dr. Clark is getting ready to start doing x-rays and just checking to see how far along, how many babies she may have in there. It's okay, baby girl. Just trimmed her extremely long nails. Shelly did somewhat with Keith earlier. We just finished off the job, as you can see. This is her sixth litter, and she is six years of age. That means a litter every heat. She's nothing but love. Would she weigh? I'm thinking 12.2. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Yeah. You have to add a half a pound, so I'm full. So. She's so little. You making nine yourself five, comfy? Nine five, nine five, nine Just look at her. 10.3? That's pregnant. Yeah. So, can you she's imagine how small she's going to be when she's not pregnant? It's okay, baby. Don't you worry. She's in the best hands, guys. We're going to take the best care of her. Shell and Keith have been doing such an amazing job, as they always do. And she's very hungry. She wants to eat like crazy. She's starting to get a little food aggressive because she's feeding and taking care of those babies. So we're going to step out, right? Yep. They're going to do the x-ray. And then we'll find out what's going on, hopefully. <sighs> it's so heartbreaking to see what these dogs have to endure due to the irresponsible behavior of so-called human beings to inflict this kind of abuse is unacceptable on every level. Our team did an amazing job yesterday um, getting six dogs out of a house. And we are going to be going back. I promise you that. Don't worry, Faith, we're on it. <laughs> I have to be very careful what I say. It's in the best interest of the dogs, so trust me when I tell you. You know us. Let's just leave it at that, okay? There's a raccoon in there. Baby, baby raccoon. Baby. Little baby raccoon. Oh my god. Or is it a ferret? Is that a ferret? Is that a raccoon a or a ferret? It's a ferret. Oh, I'm like, kill oh, baby oh, raccoon. So <laughs> now you're treating raccoons? Yeah. No, baby we ferret, sorry. More. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> they were living in feces and urine. Floors were covered. They're very well in over their heads for sure. It's okay, Gigi. Good girl, Mama. Good girl. They have to. They have to get on her side. It's okay, Gigi. Good girl, Gigi. Good baby. Oh, that's a good baby. Can you see it clear? Yeah. Yeah? How many? I see two. I think I see two. Two? That's it? Yep. Hopefully. I'm, I'm hoping that's it, is what I'm saying. I see two heads, two backs. Wow. And 
Can you tell about how far along she is by this? She's at least six weeks. And when when should would she, when would she be due? Um, Approximate time. Three weeks. One to three weeks. So one to three weeks. Yeah. Do you think she'll be okay doing this on her own? I guess we wait, right? And if we see any problems, we rush her in. Yeah. That's all we can do, right? Unless you see section or before. Just remember the danger. Yeah, yeah, I would be. It's awesome to get some blood and get some nutrition going. Maybe she can have these two on her own. The other ones are still born. Maybe they, she was having problems getting them out and nobody was there. Right. Well, we're going to be there every step of the way, so when when you're not there, I'm sleeping every night. She's not going to be alone. She's very gassy. She's very She's such a good girl. I can't even believe what a good dog this dog is. Like she hasn't been through enough. Look at her. Look at her laying her back with her little paws up in the air. You're the best girl, mommy. You're the best girl. You're laying in your little crane. One in each horn. What? One in each side and they're pointing in the right direction. Right All right, fantastic. So good. Dr. Clark says there's one in each horn and they're, they're pointed in the right direction. Is that it for x rays? We're good? All right. Yeah, we'll give her to Shelly. Yes, you can't her. No, I'm not vaccinating her right now. What I do with your knee if she went on the chair. Where'd your leash go? Oh, oh the leash? Oh, well, there's the collar. Right here. Here, I've got it, Shelly. Do you want to, um, you want a microchipper now? Yeah. Be done with it? A little blood? Get it over with? So we know she's okay in case we need something. Yeah, let's do the microchip and blood work gently. Thank you so much, honey. Appreciate it. She's such a good girl. Can we get the blood out of the way? Blood work and microchip. Please. Gently. Our little mommy. Good girl, Chi Chi. So she's like nine point something pounds pregnant with two babies. What do you think she's going to weigh without her babies? Five pounds? Five, five pounds? Maybe five. I'd say about five pounds she's going to be. She's going to be tiny. She's a little baby. Oh, little baby, Gigi. Just a babies. Okay, Colleen. Well, Dr. Clark's been around the block for a billion years. They're yelling because you didn't have your protective gear to take some radiographs. Tell him I didn't make, we didn't make exposure. We, we didn't make exposure, he said. He knows what he's doing. Thank you for your concern. But I did think about that. But he did think Somebody about it. Oh, he didn't have a thing for not. The good and the bad of social media. <laughs> You're a mom. That's a good question. Damn, you legit took half my shit. You can't with these people. I know, Trisha did. <laughs> yeah, Trisha legit. She half a half. <laughs> I legit just opened it. Alright. You on lunch? Me? Yeah. Can you hold this off for me? I was going to do Jimmy. Wow. I know. I'm sorry. Here. Good girl, Mommy. She'll be right back, okay? What you need? Microchip and a little blood work. And we're going to go ahead. Gently. We're going to leave the room. Thank you. We're going to be in the room one, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, guys, please, when we're in the back of a hospital, please don't pick apart what they're doing because then they won't allow us in the back. We're very fortunate to get back there. Nobody's allowed back in hospitals like this. So please refrain. I know you don't mean any harm, but please, we have to be very careful. Very lucky. 
that we're able to get back there and, and share all of this with all of you. So, okay, I had to take the internet connection off. I... Um, I was not in the x-ray room while they were taking the x-rays. I walked in, I was standing outside the room with my camera. So, sorry about that freezing up. Um, I'm just reading the comments. Yes, she could be due between one to three weeks. It's hard to tell. Dr. Clark said he saw two babies. Um, yes, they always chip them when they're awake. It's one, two, three. We've chipped almost 4,000 dogs when they're awake. Uh, it's not, it's, it's so, it's quick, I promise you. Uh, they're gonna take some blood work so that if she needs something during this pregnancy, we know that her, what her blood is like. Um, if she was to ever need to, um, if she ever was to need something, surgery, we need to make sure that she's okay. So she's going to be due um, between one and three weeks. Two babies in there. He said they look like they're in perfect position. Hi, everybody. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, we just basically did the x-rays of, uh, I had to step outside because the internet inside is really horrible. So um, thank you guys for your kind words of support. Um, I understand that everybody, and this is on an open forum um, for people to type and post their concerns and their opinions, and we greatly appreciate it. Um, we're, we're transparent, and I know you are as well. Sometimes we just speak our minds and, and we speak our heart, and that's fine. I know everybody's speaking their words of concern um, for everybody involved, and we appreciate it. Um, but yes, so Dr. Clark watches these videos and so does his wife. Uh, so like I said, um, wow, they put my dog to sleep for it. Wow, I never heard of that, Mary, in my life. In my life, I think it's time to find a new vet if your doctor put your dog to sleep for a microchip. That's insane. Um, all I'm saying is, is that we are focused on Gigi right now. Uh, she is one of the six dogs that we took from the hoarding situation. Um, time for a baby shower. This is going to be her last pregnancy, her last birth. Um, she's done. This is it. So whatever comes out of Gigi um, is it. Let's just hope and pray that the babies are healthy and that she, you know, regardless, she's going to have us by her side. We are not leaving her for one minute. She is going to have us day and night. Um, when Shelly and Keith are there day and night, they sleep there. And I, myself, when they are not there, I am sleeping there. So they will never, she will never be alone. Um, when, whatever she needs. I can literally hop her in the car and bring her right to the 24-hour animal hospital. Whatever is needed, that is what she is going to get. Um, so I'm just so grateful that she can be with us in a very clean and loving... Hi! Hi! How are you? So do so you. Yeah. Yeah. Off some oh, lovely. Nice to see you. you it's one of our wonderful friends and our adopters I just ran into. Um, so it says, do they spay after the birth or wait? No, they don't spay. If she needed a C-section, then they would spay her right then and there because they're already doing surgery. But no, when she gives birth, after she's done nursing and her nipples, just like we did with Jade, um, or any of our dogs that come in pregnant, they give birth and then they nurse. And then after the nipples start to go down, that's when we get them in um, to get them spayed. And yes, he will give her some sort of vitamins. And um, don't worry about any dogs, any go dogs going back. Let's just focus. Trust me. Trust me. Um, we, we got this, okay? We're, we're good with this. Uh, just focus on... Gigi and her babies. He has Pauline. You'll have late night chats. I'll be laying with little Gigi. Um, and the, the rest of them are all really, they're doing really, really well. Um, we actually have some interest in adoption. So what we're doing tomorrow um, is we're getting two of our females that we took from them spayed tomorrow morning. And uh, the two that are left in the home that with 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 them with the people that we got these dogs from um i'm reading text messages sorry that are coming in at the same time i can't my head's spinning um the two that were left in the house uh 
they were scheduled, we put them on the schedule to get spayed and neutered tomorrow morning. And I called six times today and I didn't get any response back. I went by the house and knocked on the door. There was no answer. So um, I, this is a problem. Uh, we're gonna keep going until we get in touch with these people. Um, do they know how many? Yes, two babies, Brenda. Two babies that he could see in there, clearly. Uh, they look like they're in great, great position. Exactly where they're supposed to be. Thank God, two babies. She's nine pounds pregnant. He said she's going to be probably five pounds when she's done. So, two little puppies. Thank God there's no more because her poor little body. Uh, so, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to step in there with Dr. Clark and Shelly. I'm having really bad reception. I will try to bring you back. I don't know if it's going to work, but if I lose you, you know why. Let's see if the reception's any better. Hold on. She's back. She's back. She's back. Hey, I'm here. Are you back? I'm my good ship and my bar work. Oh, you're all done, Mommy. Too nice. You ready? You want to get out of here? All right, let's blow this let's joint. Yeah, I hear you. We's done. We so Gigi is here. microchipped. Gigi got her blood work. She got her x-rays. There's two babies. They're due between one to three weeks. Kind of leaves us up. October 13th is my guess. Oh, so we have a that. guest in the house, and Shelly's guest. We should have a challenge. That's a fan. I think we should have a dollar yes. challenge for the date. Let's do it. Ooh. Let's do it. I think that is fantastic. Okay, so guess what? There's 229 people on here. You think we should do it now, or do you think we should do it when we... What do you think? Should we do a separate video or do it now while we have it here? Do it now. Okay, so all right, do it. there you have it. Um, we are guessing a date. Have a seat, Shell. You're going to be here for about five minutes at least. Um, we are going to guess. Doctor Clark said, "Are you? Am I clear? Am I clear?" <laughs> Susan says, "Great idea. <laughs> date and time, Zoe. Oh my oh. God. What's today's date? Is today the thirtieth? Today's the 30th. Tomorrow's October 1st. Okay, tomorrow's October 1st. So, Dr. Clark stated that it is going to be one to three weeks that little Gigi here is going to give birth to her two puppies. Start now. Now, if you get... Oh, De Pauline has a $5 challenge for October Ooh. 15th. Okay, Do Pauline Dunbar has a $5 challenge. I want everybody, please, if you want to play the game, you don't want to, you don't have to. Do not guess unless you're going to PayPal us. What are we doing, a $5 challenge? Go for it. Go for it. What the hell? Can we do more? <laughs> Let's do $5 challenge, okay? If you're, if, you're vo if you're going to pick a date, $5 challenge. Sorry it's pixelated, guys. If it is pixelated, I apologize. Um, Ellen says the 16th. All right, all right, my PayPal link is on this video. It's all over our page. And whoever wins the challenge gets, let's see, we've got October 16th, $10 from Mabel. Susan's doing, I'll do 25 for October 14th. Oh my goodness, we're doing a game. We have a challenge of when she's going to give birth. So what? 10 days, I think. You think 10 days? Yeah. I think October 13th. Okay, you got October 12th. Dr. Clark thinks so, 10 days, so that would be, today's the 30th, so you're thinking so the 9th, the 9th, 9th, you think. 9th or 10th, yeah. 9th or 10th is, is Dr. Clark's guess. Shelly says... We're going to bring on the 9th, we're going to do a C-section. You think so? <laughs> do you think she's going to need a C-section? I don't know. I mean, these are big babies, but... She should. All I'm going to say is I hope to God, which I hope it doesn't happen, if she has any complications, you have to be here. If if I text you, can you come in? Yeah. You Would you, would you come in? I mean, if it's the middle of the night, then she's better off in you know, a 24-hour facility because I have nobody here. I know. But, but if it's during the day or morning? It's during the day and I'm not here. You'll, I'll call you? Yeah. Okay. I think we'll be able to tell like we did with Angel. Too. Angel was a hot mess, remember that? But Angel that? had the pelvic fracture and all the other crap, so this, at least her pelvis is normal. That's true. Remember, you were like, she's pushing, 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 and then that was the middle of the afternoon kind of. Yeah, but, yeah, a lot of signs yeah, but Coral Springs, I went in and had x-rays and ultrasound, and they told me, let's book a C-section mm -hmm. for two weeks. And I said, are you sure? And they said, absolutely, she's not having the baby. The next day, she started bleeding. Like six, seven hours. Right? And the baby was trying to come out. 
So we had to go in and do an emergency. I don't think you have any way of knowing. I mean, it's hard to tell, even right? With babies, they say, okay, when will you got? You know, I know. But there's signs too. There are signs. Just start pushing, and yeah. temperature will drop. It drops 24 hours before, right? You know, in, into the 90s before. So you start taking your temperature. I didn't do it. I think it was 100.8 here um, today. Oh, that's right. Remember, the temperature. Like do we have, we have a thermometer at house one? Yeah, because we used that for aging. 10.3, so um, just just take it twice a day. When, when when it goes down, I forget from Angel, what, what's the temperature we need to be alarmed at? If it stays in the 90s, 24 hours. Okay. That's when it coming. goes down in the 90s, 24 hours. That's you know, 97, 96. Gotcha. Okay, let's do this. So guys, back to the challenge. All right. Pick your date. And put down how much you are you are donating. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning for the two females to be spayed. Yes. And Ava, do you want me to call her? Yes, please. All right. Do I have her number? Yes, I sent it to you. Okay. Do you want me to send it again? No, 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 no. I, I mean, if you, I can call her too if you want to, so that we both reached out. You want her to see Dr. Babevsky in the morning. What time do you want her here? If her surgery, if she's doing surgery at seven thirty, what do you say? She's not. She's coming at nine o'clock. Oh. The, the nurses are coming at 7.30 to get the doctor. Okay, so what time would you suggest? And Zoe's coming at 9, quarter till, I told so. At 10? Yeah. 10-ish? Okay, because I know she's not going to want to sit around a long time. Well, if she's in surgery. 11? Unless she wants to be here like at 8.30, quarter to 9, let Babiski see her and then she can go home. Uh, I'll ask. see Zoe. You, you reach out to her and I'll reach out to her. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're picking our dates, um, and we're picking when you think she's going to give birth with a donation, and the winner gets a special bracelet, a 100 plus rescue shirt, a 100 plus hat, and a 100 plus um, rubber bracelet with our name on it. And Uncle Keith said he's getting cigars for his girl. And Uncle Keith is getting cigars. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to get what? champagne. So let's get this party started. And I'm so grateful that she's in our loving um, arms in a clean environment. Frosty. Yeah, Enjoy that's it. it. Um, thank you in advance, everybody. Um, we always try to make a happy out of a sad. And this is our happy for Gigi. She's with us. And, and Susan says, ha ha, Uncle Keith. <laughs> all right, we're, we're out, guys. Let those donations roll in for all these wonderful lives that we save on a daily basis um, and towards our ongoing mission to allow us to continue and save so many in need. Amy and Shelly with Gigi, 100 plus, abandoned dog.